If you really thought you could sneak out the back door that easily, then you're clearly mistaken. Hey, I'm talking to you. Come on, turn around. You're not going out that door. <laughs> what, you thought walking slowly was gonna make me not notice you? Come on. It's not like your dad hired a complete amateur to guard your body after all. You know my job, bodyguard. You have a body and I have to guard it. That's pretty much what I have to do all day. Now come on, turn around. Come here. Make my job easier for me, will ya? Alright, what's your reason this time? <laughs> You're going out to the store to buy a soda, really. Dressed up in that skimpy outfit? Yeah. Okay, sure. Look, I know exactly what you wanted to do. You probably wanted to go out to the nearest club and party all night or something. Yeah. Mm, it's because that's what I did when I was younger too. Yeah. Well, I have a pretty wild background, so I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> I said I understand where you're coming from, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you go out. No. No amount of begging is gonna make me change my mind. No, why don't you come here? Make my job easier. Go back to your room and be a good little girl. Alright? <laughs> You're really cute when you give me that sobby face, you know. But no, I'm not going to change my mind. I'm not letting you go out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut with a sad story. Yeah, I'm sure it's so sad being the son of a millionaire with a very financially stable lifestyle. Well, look, it's not my fault your father has a lot of enemies. Now, why don't you go back to your room before I report this to your dad? You know how strict he can be when he's here, right? And you know how angry he'd get once he knows his little girl tried to go out to a party? Yeah. Oh, what's with that face? Yeah. You're giving me an offer like that, huh? Well, you're not wrong. Yeah, I have been a bit obvious, wasn't I? Been checking you out a lot lately. I have to say, I've been a bodyguard for a lot of very interesting people. I'm not happy to say that you're the most interesting one. Yeah, I really mean that. Yeah. So, be honest with me. Why do you really want to go out to a party? I mean, I know you. You don't really care about other people. <laughs> you may act like a dork sometimes, but you're a total introvert. Well, I've been observing you for the past few days. I mean, I've been guarding you for like, what, three months already? I've been picking up on some patterns in your behavior. So, what did a girl like you really want to do in a party? I know you don't like talking to people. Oh, you have needs? What kind of needs are you talking about? Mm hmm. What are these special intimate needs that you mean? Mm hmm. Well, that's very interesting. Hey. You better not stare at me like that. That's really dangerous, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm a really dangerous man. I've done some really, really violent things back in my day. Yeah. <laughs> I like the fact that you're not intimidated. No more, I won't hurt you. Maybe I might bite a little bit. If you won't stop getting closer to me. Yeah. Ah, you're a really naughty girl, aren't you? That's really dangerous, considering that I work for your father. Do you have any idea how mad he's gonna be if he finds out I'm flirting with his daughter? Oh, you don't care, huh? <clears throat> you know what? Come here. I don't think I really care that much either. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, you see me checking you out, huh? You like me checking you out, don't you? That's a really, really, really naughty behavior you have there. What am I going to do about it? Well, maybe I have to discipline you. Teach you a lesson now. Yeah. Well, you agree with that, huh? Why don't you close your eyes and let me punish you? never thought that a girl with a pretty face like yours would be this bad. But you know what? If you really wanted to do something like this, you didn't have to go to a party. Yeah, I really mean that. You should have just gone to me a long time ago and asked yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I may be a bodyguard, but I can say I'm good at a lot of other things. Oh, you're curious. Why don't you shut the hell up and let me show you. Oh, I really like the taste of your lips. Oh, you're really driving me crazy. I'm really risking my job by doing this, you know. Ah, oh, but fuck it. It's really worth the trouble. Mm, girl like you is really worth the trouble. Mm. Mm. This is really, really dangerous. You better make sure you don't tell your father about what we just did. <laughs> oh, now you're blackmailing me, huh? <sighs> I really thought you were a brat, but I guess you're really more than that. Yeah. Hey, you better be careful with that. Don't you dare threaten me like that, baby. Yeah. Oh, you get me really mad and really riled up. And when I get riled up, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> On second thought, I think I have a little idea of what I want. <laughs> You don't dare say a single thing about us to your father. You understand? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. Do you understand what I just said? Yeah. No, 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 no. Because you're really lucky to have me around. You know, it's a good thing we have similar taste. Because I think this is something we could do on a daily basis. Since a girl like you is so needy, and a guy like me is so... <laughs> I don't even have to say it, but you get the point. Yeah? Yeah, we can have a little arrangement like this. Every night, every day. Maybe after your school, we could secretly meet up somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I can do a lot of things. 
Oh, yeah. You're really giving me ideas. As long as you pretend to be a good girl and not go to any parties. You understand? Do you understand? Yeah, that's more like it. Ah, <sighs> now, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go upstairs, go back to your room, you're gonna lie down, get some sleep, and we're gonna pretend this never happened. I'm not gonna tell your father about you trying to sneak out to a party, and you're not gonna tell him about what I just did. Alright? Now, tomorrow, we're gonna go off like we normally do. But you come back here, or better yet, you go over to my room, and maybe I'll give you a special little lesson to discipline you. Ah, you really like that, don't you? Alright, now, shut the hell up, don't argue, and go up to your room now. I'm not gonna ask twice. Hold on. Before you go, look at me one more time. Yeah. And what can I say? I have a thing for bratty good girls like you. <sighs> Remember not to tell your dad. Otherwise, you'll never experience this again. <sighs> really drive me crazy, I know that. <sighs> Turn around. Let me see that. Okay, go to your room right now. I'm not gonna ask again. I'll see you tomorrow. You understand? Good girl. Now go. Get some sleep. <sighs>